Oh, no, no, no. Gotta, gotta get out. Oh, no. Well, oh, I'll get out. Hey guys, it's Photobobo here, and this is a new and easier way to update Mod API after all of those updates. I do have the manual version. The manual version still works, but it's very easy to mess up just one small change in the text that's not supposed to be there, and you can be wondering why it's not working. So, the developer of theforestmap.com, Alex Kut Enter, um, he has made a automatic way of doing what the video does. And so we're just on this page, we're downloading it, and we're down. We're gonna open up the two links it says for requirements. This is also the source code right here. So we go to the first link, this is just to download the program itself. Then we go to the second link, this is the dot network frame, sorry, dot net framework, and you need this anyways for mod API, so you probably already have it. But he does a let me Google it for you link, you can go ahead and click on the first one from Microsoft. It's going to give you some options. You can look down from below for more details, but I just clicked on the first one. 4.62. When you click on that, you get taken to this page. You can pick your language, and you pick download. And then similar thing for the Visual C++. Just go ahead and do that. If you don't know what the version update is, you can go to the website as he suggested. You can read there, 48B. It's important to include the 0.48 and then whatever letter follows. Make sure to install the .NET framework. If you're running Windows 10 or you've updated it recently, you probably don't need to do this. In which case, as you run it, it's going to tell you that you already have one. And yeah, it just says you already got something, so don't, don't do it. <laughs> Similar thing for the VC says that you're fine, so you just close that. Now yours might not actually say you're fine, but it's important to install these so you don't have to worry about this later. Most likely you have both of those already. Drag in the mod API updater into the same area as the mod API executable. Run mod API, and then go ahead and close it right after it runs. Now, run mod API updater. It's gonna ask you to run mod API and then close it, but we already did that, so you can go ahead and move on to the next step. It's gonna find the checksum, and then it's gonna ask you what the version number is. So for example, we're on 48B. Include the zero, the dot, the number, and the letter. Very rarely it's gonna separate between what the website says and what it actually is, and then somebody else is gonna have to tell you because you'll have to figure out, but that's very rare. But, now it works. It was that easy. And I'm gonna try this neat little thing that YouTube just said, where I have like these frames at the end that works for mobile, I guess. So, if you don't see anything, <laughs> let me know. But we're gonna try a new ending, last 20 seconds. And, uh, you know, I hope this helps. As the other video, feel free to leave comments down below, I'll try to help you. And, uh, you know, hope everybody has a great day. Happy Halloween. And see you in the next video. Thank you.